I'm Ashley Eskeba, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm going to show you how to set your password on your iPhone. Now, you definitely want to set your password on your iPhone because you carry it with you everywhere. It's got all of your private information on there, like emails and your calendar and anything else that you, pictures, anything else you might have on here that you don't want others to see. So setting a passcode is definitely the first step in keeping it secure. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to go to settings from our home screen. And once we do that, we are going to look for the general area and we're gonna tap there. And from there, we're going to scroll down a little bit till we see passcode lock. And you'll see right now it's set to off. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna turn passcode on. And once we do that, it will ask us to enter a passcode. So I'm going to put in a four digit number. Now, I wouldn't make it the same as your pin for your ATM because you definitely don't want somebody to figure that out. So pick something that's not your pin for your ATM card. And we're gonna put that in and also make sure it's not one, two, three, four, or zero, 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 because that's very easy for a thief to guess. So we're gonna put in our passcode. And once that's been put in, you'll actually see the passcode lock screen come up. So you can choose some different options for your passcode. So require passcode, you can ask it to require it by time, which is after one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, or four hours. So even if you're in the middle of using your phone, it'll prompt you for your passcode. Immediately is more secure because every time you actually put your phone to sleep and unlock it, you have to put in your passcode to get into your phone. So you can also choose voice dial. Uh, you can choose different things like that. If voice control is always enabled, you can shut that off. You can actually put an option to erase all the data on your iPhone after 10 failed passcode attempts. So if you want to make sure that somebody is not getting into your stuff and you want it to erase all the data on your phone, you can do that, uh, but do so at your own risk because if you forget your passcode, you might be in a little bit of trouble. It might not be a great idea if you're forgetful. <laughs> and the last thing is, is right underneath require passcode, there's an option that says simple passcode. And simple passcode is on right now on this iPhone. And that is the four digit pin that you can put in. If you would like to put in a longer password, you can actually switch that to off and it will give you the option to enter a full actual passcode. Uh, most people use a four digit pin, but if you feel you want to be more secure, you can definitely choose this option and just make sure you pick something that you're going to remember. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and hit the home button and we're done. We've set a passcode and you can see when we put the phone to sleep and wake it back up, it will ask for our passcode after we slide it to unlock. So we're going to put in our passcode and there we go. We're right back into our iPhone home screen. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.